Okay, so if you turn to page 12, we will go over multiplying with radicals. And multiplying with radicals is a lot like multiplying with variables. So, for number one, root x times root x. So, when you just apply the product property of radicals, this becomes root x squared, but as we said before, root x times root x is just x. Now, if you have three root x times root x, root x times root x is x times three is three x. For number three, we have three root x squared times root x to the third. That becomes three root x to the fifth. What's underneath the radical multiplies what's underneath the radical. What's outside the radical stays outside the radical. So this becomes three root x to the fourth root x. That becomes x squared. And our answer is three x squared root x. Now, number four, we have three root two x squared times six root seven x to the fifth. So you can rewrite this. Now, you will eventually just do this in your head, but I'm gonna rewrite it to make it more obvious. This is really three times root two and six times root seven x to the fifth, right? So I can rewrite it using commutative property, three times six times root two x squared times root seven x to the fifth. Three times two is 18. And now what's under the radical multiplies what's under the radical. That becomes 14x to the seventh. I can rewrite that as root 14 times root x to the sixth times root x. That becomes 18x cubed root 14x. Okay, let's look at number five. 7 root 3x times 6 root 6x. So again, I can rewrite it 7 times 6 root 3x times root 6x. So it's 42 root 18x squared. Now, root 18 and root x squared, that becomes x. This becomes root 9 times root 2, which is 3 root 2. So I do 42 times 3 which is 126x root 2. Okay. Now, number 6, 2 times root 2x plus 3. So 2 times root 2x and 2 times 3 is 6. Now, these cannot be combined. Combining this would be like combining 2x plus 6. The x, a 2 times an x cannot be combined with a number just by itself. We only combine numbers that are by themselves with numbers that are by themselves. Number 7, root 3 times root 6 plus root, oh sorry, that's just mm -hmm. plus 2x. So root 3 times root 6 is root 18 plus 2x root 3. This becomes root 9 times root 2, so it's 3 root 2 plus 2x root 3. Now, this cannot be simplified anymore because this is a root 3 and this is a root 2. And it would be like trying to combine 3x plus 2y. They just can't be combined. Okay, and on the last one we're going to FOIL. 2 minus root 3 times 3 plus root 5. 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times root 5 is 2 root 5. 3 times negative root 3 is negative 3 root 3. And this becomes minus root 3 times root 5 is root 15. So when you multiply radicals, they become different. But then when we go to add and subtract, we can only combine like terms. None of these are like radicals, so nothing can be combined. So that's it. So that was page 12.